What is this place? Where are you taking me? Can someone please say something? You are the resistance, right? You know, instead of abducting me, you could have just asked nicely. I would have come with you. I wanted to come with you. Not talking? Fine. Take me to your leader. I've always wanted to say that. Shepard's busy. She'll talk to you later. So now you are speaking to me? Good. I'd like to... Wait. I remember that man. Isn't that... Stop talking. Keep walking. But I know him. Shut up. Absolutely not. No. You cannot leave Mercuria now. If you go to Guillaume... What if they find you? They'll kill you. So they kill me. I understand the risks, Enu. I know you want to protect him, but he is one child. If you end up dead, what do we do? You carry on. You're stronger now. You can fight them. You know that's not true. The General has brought more troops from Azadir. Our situation is precarious. I'll go with him. And make sure he stays alive. What? You will not. And we lose the both of you? We were lucky we didn't lose more people when Old Town burned. It's only a matter of time before the Azadi make a decisive strike against us. Boys, I'm as soft-hearted as a zidling schoolgirl, and Vip's my friend too, but I agree with Shepard. We can't risk it. It's not just about the boy. If I go to Guillaume, to the camps, I will find evidence of what they're doing to the Magicals. And if General Hami and Mother Otana learn the truth of what's being done to innocent creatures, perhaps they'll... Creatures? He didn't mean it like that. Right, Kyan? You didn't mean it like that. He's shown that he doesn't consider Magicals to be people. We still remember that child-molesting Azadi officer you let go. People. Women, children, the defenseless. If Hami and Otana learn the truth, they may have a change of heart. They may pull their support. We can't win this war on our own. Vamon and Saya are too strong. With Hami's men on their side, they'll be unbeatable. But if we undermine this support, even if Hami does not join our side, our chances will improve. Force me to stay, and we only delay the inevitable. Let me go, and we could win this war. <sighs> you don't make it easy for me to lead, Kian. But maybe it's time I let you make the decisions. I won't stand in your way. I don't like this one bit. When are you leaving? Right away. If I can sneak on board a cloud ship leaving for the islands tonight. Which means there's not a lot of time. Well, don't let me stand in your way. Go be a hero or whatever. I've spent more time with Enu since I spared that officer's life, mostly because Liko's been avoiding me like the Dalmari plague. That thing I said about being a hero or whatever, that came out all wrong. I'm sorry, I... It's scary how easy it is to forget about individuals when you're so wrapped up in fighting for the so-called greater good. There's all this talk about our cause and the big picture and... and... You have to go. That's what makes us people. It's not really about the greater good, it's about all those little goods that we do every day to each other. And this is that greatest little good of them all. One boy's life. It matters. And I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize to me, Enu. But thank you. Just... don't die? <laughs> That's all. Don't die and I'll be fine. Beautiful. These murals bring light and color to this dark place. Elgwyn. What ridiculous animals. Comfortable to ride on, though. I've been told that this is the White of the Dry Kin, the White Dragon, an important part of the ancient faith of the Order of the Balance.
There are still enough books here to fill hundreds of long evenings and sleepless nights. I've read a number of them, though many are written in languages I've yet to learn. This used to be a library. It was destroyed by the Tyran before we drove those beasts out of Mercuria. Naane's been useful to us since she returned from Myria, since I decided to keep her secret. You are doing the right thing. Shepard, she's... Well, Shepard carries a great load. It's hard for her to lift her eyes beyond this moment. She's afraid of losing you, Kian. Having you here has given everyone hope. I trust you will keep that hope alive. I have not forgotten. I will do my part while you are gone. I owe them this. So when is your shepherd going to talk to me? I don't need to be locked up like this. I'm not an Asadi spy. I'm... Oh, forget it. It's a long story. What's the point? You don't make the decisions. This is a waste of everyone's time. Just know that every minute I spend here is another minute lost trying to save the world. I mean, no rush, just a friendly... Whenever we bring life. someone in, they're questioned in there. If they refuse to answer, they're brought downstairs. Not everyone's comfortable with the screams. Normally, I'd join in the questioning. But I don't have the time now. The General's keeping this place operational. He's tireless and louder by the day. Must be his hearing. So, you're heading off on a little cruise across the sea, are you? I know Shepard has her reservations, but I'm with you on this one, boy. We can try and preserve the status quo here for as long as possible, or we can go and do something foolhardy and dangerous, and maybe win this war. So, get your ass to Gien, save that boy, find the evidence, and come back with your limbs intact, or at least most of them. And let's end this thing, once and for all. My favorite stories are travelers' tales, describing journeys across the Northlands, Southlands, and the islands, places I've yet to visit. Shepard's always been the heart and soul of the Resistance, but she's taken a step back lately, leaving me to make the difficult decisions. There's nothing more to be said. You've made your case, Kian, and I cannot argue, even though I still believe the risk isn't worth it. I also enjoy some of the books about food preparation. The illustrations are often mouth-watering. Relations between us have been strained since I spared that officer's life. You're not leaving without me. You're needed here, Liko. Those prisoners? They are my people. Imprisoned by mine. This is almost certainly a suicide mission. If the Resistance loses us both, they stand no chance against the tower. If you die, I will celebrate your death. But I will never be their leader. You've proven yourself. They need you. Go and stay alive for them, for all of us. You still plan to kill me after? Of course. Well, I wouldn't want to miss that. The commons are through there, along with the kitchens and more cells and storage spaces. The Enclave is a big place. bringing magicals through that gate and onto the cloud ship. That cloud ship's headed to Guienne with a new batch of prisoners. 
I must get on board. When's this ship taking off? In a few minutes, I think. It's fully loaded, barely any room in the hold. Is that the last of the magicals, then? From the ghetto, yeah. I mean, there are still stragglers. Uh, I see them around walking freely like they're actual people and not animals. That's disgusting. Oh, well, they're not really animals, are they? I mean, they're like... intelligent. At least some of them. No, they're filthy animals. Good riddance to them. Well, I don't know. I had a long conversation about farming with a Dolmari last year at the Rooster. She seemed nice. You'll want to be careful talking about your love for the Magicals. There's a reason they're being shipped off to the camps, you know. But I... Oh, never mind. Anyway, you should be up there keeping watch, not down here talking to me. That lever operates the portcullis. He's not paying attention. I could probably sneak up on him. Keon? Where are you? Oh, no, no. You're not going after him. He's not your responsibility. None of this is on you, Keon. It's not just the one life, Anna. It's not just Bib. The Azadi take the Magicals to the islands. They're not given passage to the Southlands. They never come back. It's all a lie. The old and the young families sent away to die, forgotten by everyone. That ends now. I refuse to forget. The Resistance will persevere without me. I'm not really one of them. I never was. I never will be. I'm a Zadi. You're a Zadi. So what? I'm not saying what they're doing is acceptable, but... Are you going to free every Magical on your own? Take on the entire Zadi army single-handed? You're being stupid and emotional and... And you're being selfish. You're leaving us when we need you the most. You're leaving me. Again. What do you mean by... My name isn't Anna. I use a different name in every city. It's safer that way. In Sadir, I was Elena, but... I never told you my name. You don't recognize me. That's fair. I've changed. You haven't. Except for the... You know. It's a good look for you. You're the girl I saved from Vamon's gang. Yeah. I'm the girl. What? Well, that's it? I spent every day these past 20 years thinking about you, and I'm the girl. Oh, I feel so special now. Forgive me, Anna. Elena. I do remember you. Vamon was trying to... Hurt me. And they would have killed me too if it hadn't been for you. You risked everything and you stood up for me. That was the first time anyone had shown me any kindness. You brought me to Mother Ritana, and she took care of me for a while. I watched you from a distance for years, until I was, uh, forced to leave Sadir. But I knew I'd find you again someday, Kiana Vane. That was... a long time ago. I was a different person. No. You were a different person in between, but now? Now you are the boy I knew, from all those years ago. The boy with his eyes and heart wide open. The boy who risked his life for others. The boy who... 
Oh, God damn it. This is why you have to go. Not because you're Azadi, or because you're the Apostle, or the great hero of the Resistance, or because of your goddess, or... or because you're selfish. You have to go because this is who you are. The boy who saved my life. Will you help them while I'm gone? This isn't my war, Keon. Maybe not. But it is mine. And I believe what happens here will change the balance for all time to come. I didn't know you believed in the balance. I didn't. Will you help the Resistance in my absence? Fine. Fine. I'll help them. What was that for? For love, you idiot. I've loved you since you lifted me out of that gutter and saved my life. I've loved no one else. I... don't know if I can... It's taken me over 20 years to find you. You'd better fucking come back, or believe me, Kianavane, I will go to the first mountain and drag you back, kicking and screaming, to the world of the living. From what I've learned traveling on cloud ships, this is a ship's bell. They use this to signal the crew when a load of cargo is ready to be hoisted up. Kian! Do not leave without me! Quick, pull me up! No. The Resistance needs him here. No. I... I'm sorry, Liko. You bastard! <laughs> 